Hi, this is Meghnath. In this module, we will see how to install SQL Server software. So SQL Server is from Microsoft. And if you want to work on SQL Server, you need to install two parts. The first one is you need to install SQL Server 2017 Express Edition, that's database engine. And you also need an editor where you can type your queries. So this is an editor where you can type your queries. And for that, you need SQL Server Management Studio Express. So I repeat, so this is a database engine, SQL Server 2017 Express, this is database engine, and SQL Server Management Studio, this is an editor where you can type your queries. So let's get started with part one. So what I'll do now is, I'll copy this, SQL Server 2017 Express download, right click on this, copy, and I'll search in Google, and I'm searching in Google. Now you can see here, SQL Server 2017 Express Download. This is from Microsoft.com. Click on this. Now you'll see here SQL Server 2017 Express Edition and let me click on Download Now. Now it just downloaded a small file and let me go to the folder. Go to the folder. You can see here it, it just got downloaded here. Now right click on this, Run as Administrator and click on yes. Now it will open a small pop-up. Now select basic and click on next, click accept and I'm fine with the path, click install. Now it will take around um, 5 to 10 minutes to complete the installation. So you can notice here that the size is almost 255, 275 MB. So it will take around uh, 5 to 10 minutes to complete the installation. You can see here that the download is almost done. So once download is done, it will install the package. Now you can see that it's showing download successful. And now it is installing the software. So it might take as I said, five to 10 minutes. Now you can notice that the installation is almost done and um, we have less than 10% to complete. Okay, now you can see that the installation has complete successfully. So installation is done and this is part one. We just completed SQL Server 2017 Express Edition. Now a computer restart is required. So we'll install after, uh, we'll restart the computer after installing the second part as well. Now let's close this. I'm just closing it. Now are you sure you want to exit? Yes. Now I'm done with installing first part. Now what I'll do is I'll go back to the go back to this and here we need to install the editor and now I'll search for SQL Server Management Studio Express download. So let me copy this and let's do the same thing that we have done for part one. So I'll search for SQL Server to the uh, Management Studio and this is Microsoft.com. Click on this. Now you can see here it's having Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio Express and English is the language. Click on download. Now I want to download, uh, okay this is older one so we don't need 2005. So let's search for, so we'll change the search. SQL Server, um, we will download the latest one, 2017. SQL Server 2017 Management Studio Express download. Now I'm just searching for the latest one SQL Server 2017 Management Studio. Click on this and, S and now when you scroll down you can see here download SQL Server Management Studio this one 17.9.1 click on this and now we are installing. So you can see the size is almost 807 MB so you can see that the size of the file is almost 807 MB. So it'll take a while depending on your internet speed. Okay, now we can notice that the download is done. So let me go to the downloads folder and let me install this. Right click on this, run as administrator. And it's asking, uh, let me click on yes.
and click on install. Now again it will take again 15, uh, 10 to 15 minutes to complete the installation. You can see here uh, the package progress installation started and it may take around 5 to 10 minutes to complete. So maybe at a couple of instances you feel like the installation is almost struck but uh, the installation is happening and uh, yeah so you can see the progress. So you can notice here that the installation is almost done. It took, our, it took a while so it shows that the installation is successful. So that's it we are done with installing both. Uh, we have uh, just done with installing SQL Server Express download and we are done with installing SQL Server Management Studio. right? So uh, the only thing was we need to search for searching for SQL Server Management Studio you need to search for SQL Server Management Studio 2017 download. So this is the search that you have to do in internet to download Management Studio. Now once installation is done now that we are done with the installation so click on start and uh, you can see here you can just type SQL Server um, so you can see here SQL Server Management Studio click on that and now that will open SQL Server Management Studio and using this we will connect to our database so I'll just show you how to do that since we are uh, opening for the first time it will take a while and see you can see here so for the first time it will do these um, few things okay and then you'll see a pop-up box like this and uh, here by default you'll see this laptop this is my laptop number or SQL Express so in case if you uh, if you want to see uh, you can just select here browse for more database engine this is the one that will be selected by default click on connect so that's it we're all set so you're just done with installing SQL server and we are connected to database and um, you're set to go to start learning SQL